So in this video, we want to add or subtract these algebraic fractions. And remember, we are on the lookout to see whether we can shortcut using cross multiplication. So first one, we've got x over 5x plus 1 plus x plus 1 over 2x plus 4. Now, always be on the lookout to see whether you can factorise one of those denominators. So we've got the 20x plus 4. 20x plus 4, we can factor out the 4 and then have 5x plus 1. And we've got the 5x plus 1 there. So actually, if I multiply this one top and bottom by 4, I will get the same denominator. So 4x over 20x plus 4 plus x plus 1 over 20x plus 4. Now just add the numerators. So I'll have 5x plus 1 over 20x plus 4. Right, how about number 2? Well, number 2, we've got x take away 7 over 8x take away 10. Take away x plus 9 over 4x take away 5. Now notice how the 8x take away 10, we can factor out uh, 2 and have 4x take away 5. And we've got the 4x take away 5 there. So to get the denominators the same, we could multiply this one top and bottom by 2. So leave the first one alone. Multiply top and bottom by 2. So 2x plus 18 over 20, sorry, 8x take away 10. And now we just combine the numerators. So we've got x. Now, just a word on this, actually. Just thought of something that might be a worry. Now, if I just ignore the denominators, which I'm essentially telling you to do, we have x take away 7 take away 2x plus 18. Now, remember, what that is, is this. That minus sign is out the front of the 2x plus 18. And so the 2x plus 18 is in a bracket here. So be careful not to, um, well, to uh, just think of it as plus 18, because I've had a number of students in the past just go, it's x take away 7, take away 2x plus 18, and have x take away 2x, and then the minus 7 plus 18. So the minus sign affects the 18 as well. So actually what we have is x then take away 7, then take away 2x, then take away 18. Because remember, that's a minus 1, and it's multiplying with 2x, and it's multiplying with the 18. So what we have is x take away 2x, which is minus x. And then we've got minus 7 take away 18, which is minus 25, over the 8x take away 10. Now you can also rewrite that, because if you think about what minus x take away 25 is, you can factorise that by factoring out the minus 1. And then you would have x plus 25 inside your bracket. So you can also write this as minus x plus 25 over 8x take away 10. And some people will prefer writing it that way. Number three, we have 8x plus 9 over 14x take away 21, plus 3x take away 2 over 18x take away 27. So let's take a look at those denominators. Can they be factorised? 14x take away 21 we can factor out 7 from both 14 and 21. So that will be 2x take away 3 inside the bracket. 18x take away 27. We can factor 9 out of both 18 to 27. So 9. And it would be 2x take away 3. So actually, we've got 7, lots of 2x take away 3 and 9 lots of 2x take away 3. So if I multiply this one top and bottom by 7, 
and multiply that one top and bottom by 9, then I can avoid using cross multiplication. So, that's easier to spot if you write it out. So, I will show you that. So, let's replace that one with 7 lots of 2x take away 3. And we'll replace that one with 9 lots of 2x take away 3. Now you can see they both have the common denominator of the 2x take away 3, but this number at the front's not the same. So if I multiply this one top one by 7, I'm going to have 63 2x take away 3 in the, in the denominator. And if I multiply that one top one by 9, I'll have 63 2x take away 3 in the, in the denominator. So the denominators will be the same then. So multiplying this one top and bottom by 9 will get me 72x plus 81 over 63 2x take away 3. And this one, multiplying top and bottom by 7, I'll have 21x take away 14 over 63 lots of 2x take away 3. So 72x plus the 21x is 93x, and then 81 take away the 14 will be 67. Okay, and that's my answer. Right. Okay, last one, number four. 4x plus 7 over 5x plus 7. Take away 3x plus 7 over 4x plus 7. Now, in this scenario, um, the 5x plus 7, the 4x plus 7, I can't factorise either of those. Um, so, I've got to go with cross-multiplication. So, I'm going to have to give myself a bit of room. So we have the 4x plus 7 times by 4x plus 7. Now I'm going to write that out in brackets so we can see exactly what we're doing. Then we've got take away 3x plus 7 times the 5x plus 7. And in the denominator, We've got 5x plus 7 times 4x plus 7. So I've got to expand three double brackets here. So the first one, we have 4x times 4x, so 16x squared. We have 4x times 7, which is 28x. And then I've got 7 lots of 4x, so 28x. And then 7 times 7 is 49. Then I've got take away the product of these two. So what I advise is you keep your answer in a bracket here, OK? Because it's take away the whole product. So we've got 3x times 5x is 15x squared. 3x times 7 is 21x. 7 times 5x is 35x. And then 7 lots of 7 is 49. And in the, denomin in the denominator, sorry, we've got 5x times 4x, which is 20x squared. 5x times 7 is 35x. 7 lots of 4x is 28x, and 7 times 7 is 49. OK, right. So let's write out that numerator in uh, a little bit easier to see. We've got the 16x squared 
28 plus 28 is 56, so 56x plus the 49. Then we're taking away each of those elements. So we're taking away the 15x squared. We've got 21x plus 35x, which is 56x, which we're taking away. So take away 56x. And then we're taking away the 49. In the denominator, we've got the 20x squared. We've got 35x and 28x. So that's 63x. And then we've got the 49. So we just need to simplify that numerator now. We have 16x squared take away 15x squared. So that's just 1x squared. We've got 56x take away 56x. So that's gone. 49 take away 49. It's gone. So actually, this simplifies to x squared over 20x squared plus 63x plus 49. And that's as nice as I can get the final answer.